Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So back in February, I made a video uh, talking about how I install, remove, and organize my custom content into The Sims 3. Uh, that video has gotten a lot of positive feedback since then, and I continuously uh, get comments of people asking how to do things and how to fix things, and I do respond to those comments, but I have noticed a reoccurrence in some of the issues that some people were having. Uh, so I decided to make a sort of updated video, uh, but this one's specifically regarding a lot of the frequently asked questions that I received on that video uh, regarding to installing custom content. So if you haven't already seen that video, be sure to click that link up there in the card. Um, that will cover a lot of information as well. This one's kind of like a part two in case you're still facing issues after watching that. So in this video, we're going to be covering all of the four topics you see on the screen right now. If you just want to skip to one particular part of the video, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started with the first thing, which is zip files. So zip files are probably the easiest of the, the five, four or five subjects we'll be talking about today. Literally, all you have to do is double click on it. So this is the zip file we are going to be using. Let's go ahead and double click and all your files are in here. I did get like a couple of questions regarding zip files, so I thought I would just answer that for you. You don't need any programs for zip files. You literally just double click and your files should be in there. But the next thing I wanted to cover was RAR files. So RAR files is a little bit more effort. You're gonna need a file to extract the files. Uh, some people like to use WinRAR, other people like to use 7-zip, other people might like to use WinZip. All of those are acceptable applications. I would say the most popular program is probably WinRAR, but each of those programs do work well and it's kind of just down to preference. Uh, my personal preference is using 7-zip. So I'm gonna show you uh, how to extract files using 7-zip specifically. So this is the uh, website that you're going to install 7-zip off of. It's just 7-zip.org. I'll leave a link down below. Right here is where you see the downloads, which is the most recent downloads. Uh, these downloads are for Windows, so I don't know if they work on Mac. I'm, I'm honestly not sure if this works on Mac or not. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I'm not a Mac user. But I honestly don't know the difference between these two download links. This one is a 32 bit by 68 bit or 86 bit and this one's 64 by 64. I don't know the difference. Like I don't know that technical stuff. So I think I just installed the 64 by 64. Just download one of them. I don't think it really matters that much. So go ahead and click download and it should download in your download bar. Once you've completed downloading that, go ahead and head into your downloads folder, double click uh, to run the program and install it into your device. I've already had that installed, so I'm just gonna click no, but it's pretty much like installing every other program. Very straightforward. It's completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. So if you do see that you have to pay for 7-Zip, you're doing something wrong or you're on the wrong website because 7-Zip is 100% free. Other extractor programs are also free as well. So like WinZip is free and also WinRAR are also free. So if you're paying for these programs, you're not doing it right. <laughs> All right, so after you have installed 7-Zip into your computer, it to be working, it's a super easy installation. Uh, so we're going to first get a RAR file to show you as an example. I'm going to use this hair right here. So we're gonna go ahead and download this and takes us to a quick little ad fly link. Alrighty, once that countdown's over, go ahead and click skip ad and um, Oh, it downloaded. All right, so here is the, the file down in my downloads bar. As you can see at the end of the file name, it says .rar, which indicates that it is a RAR file. So this is the file we're going to be using as an example to extract. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this into my downloads folder. And what we're gonna do is we're going to right click the file and you should have this option in this drop down menu that says 7-zip. Go ahead and click 7-zip uh, or hover over it and then this 
other sub dropdown menu should appear. And then from here, you're going to click extract here. So go ahead and extract it. And after you've done that, you now have the extracted folder. Uh, so if you click this, you have the custom content you have installed in here. Uh, if your package files don't look like this, trust me, nothing's wrong with your computer. I actually just recently installed a, a program which changed the icon of my Sims 3 package files. So don't be alarmed if your package files don't have this icon. Usually it's just like a little piece of paper with like a folded edge. Uh, but since I installed a program, it looks like this. But don't be alarmed. It's nothing to be worried about. Hi, Mackenzie. Oh my god, that is so scary. Siri is always coming on. Alright, so that is how you install RAR files. The next thing I want to talk about is something that is a little bit more complicated. This is how to convert Sims 3 pack files into package files. Now this is something that's useful for uh, many different scenarios. Uh, one of which I've seen is that some people have been having a glitch where the, that the custom content they downloaded has the logo of a Sims 3 pack file, much like this one, but it ends in dot package. So it's not actually considered a Sims 3 pack file. So this next method is used to f solve that problem and it's also used just if you don't want Sims 3 pack files and you prefer just to have uh, them converted to package files instead or any other situations alike or in some further extracting is needed to take place. Hopefully y'all are still with me. To get the process started, we are going to need another program. So this program is called Delphi Sims 3 pack multi extractor. <laughs> Update it fits September 2009. Uh, so I will leave a link to this Mod The Sims page down below. Mod The Sims is a totally reliable website. Everything I've downloaded from Mod The Sims have been reliable, so do not worry about the validity of the files or anything like that. But this program is what helped the people in the comments that were having this issue, uh, and I've also tested it out, and I think it's pretty simple, straightforward to use, and very helpful. So go ahead and click onto files and this is where you'll find the installer. Go ahead and click this and it'll install on your download bar. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and open this up into my downloads folder. First of all, it is a RAR file, to, so to actually access the installer, we're going to use the extracting method we used before. So go ahead and go and do that. And now we finally have the installer. So go ahead and double click this uh, and the program is already set to run. So how to use this? First of all, if you see up here, this is step one, select folder that contains a Sims 3 pack. So what you're going to want to do is take the file that's having issues that you need to convert and put it into its own folder. So I'm going to be converting this Greenwood Grove Sims 3 pack into a package file. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it. I just created the separate folder, which is currently empty. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and drag this into here. And then we're going to go back to the program. And we're going to browse for that folder. So go ahead and select that. Click OK. And then for step two, you have to select the destination folder to extract to. So I'm just going to extract it to my downloads folder. So I have my downloads uh, folder selected. And then step three is to click extract. Now this box down here, I like to leave checked because what this basically does is it renames the converted package file to the name that your Sim 3 pack is. So for example, this file that we're about to extract is called Greenwood Grove. So if I have this box checked, the package file version would also be named Greenwood Grove as opposed to a bunch of like random numbers and letters. So go ahead and click extract. And if we go back to downloads, there it is. There's our extracted file, Greenwood Grove. That's how you convert Sim 3 pack files into package files. Uh, this method can work for a lot of different issues that you have. Uh, if a file is not fully extracted or if the image is a Sim 3 logo, but the file name says dot package. 
and there's probably some other issues that this can work for too. But before I end up this video, there's one more thing I want to address, and that is how to install .sim files. Uh, this is something that I had to Google, and it really isn't that hard once you uh, get the hang of it. Uh, but it is something that I feel like is useful for you guys to share with you guys. So for this example, for my Sims 3 pack file, I'm going to use a sim that I once again made in my blind CC swap challenge. So once again, if you've not seen that video, what are you doing? Click that card up above. Uh, I went ahead and actually linked to all my sims custom content. And I also put her sim up for download. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my own sim as this example. So the sim is now in my downloads folder. And this next step is super simple for .sim files. Go ahead and load up another file library. Uh, go into uh, documents, electronic arts, the sims 3, and then save sims. This is where you're gonna save all of your downloaded sims that end with dot sim. So if I go ahead and drag and drop Penelope into here, she should be in here. She's already in here because I made her, uh, but that's basically how, how it works. Now, if you're wondering how to access your dot sim uh, files, it's a little bit different than to act as a household because typically when you think of households, you think of how they'll be saved in like the, the households menu, if that if you're following what I'm saying. Uh, but .sim files are different because they're saved under pre-made sims in create a sim. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the game, show you guys how that works, and then I'll end off the video. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is in any game, um, to access a .sim file, uh, you're going to want to go to edit town mode, uh, which is found in this option menu, then hit create a household. So after create a household is done loading, um, go ahead and click this down here, which says pre-made sims. And this is where all of your .sim files are. Uh, but the specific sim that we actually installed was this one. Which is once again Get from my daddy. blind CC swap challenge. Oh, she looks kind of weird. Oh god, she looks so scary. <laughs> yeah, this is um not how she's supposed to look. I recently merged my Sims 3 custom content and I didn't install everything. So, if you want to see how she's supposed to look, you should watch that video. Okay, I'm gonna stop self-plugging myself. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it informative or helpful in any way, shape, or form, be sure to leave a like. That helps other people find this video since you enjoyed it and found it of use. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in another video. Bye, everyone! No, I just, just love my content so much. It's just, you know, a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. <laughs>